Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this book review, it is for The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. Now, I see Frieda McFadden's books on the Bookature uh, Anonymous group for blog tours, but I hadn't accepted any because my queue is always this, you know, magnanimous. However, some friends were doing a Zoom to discuss this, pardon me, this book Sunday night. So since they were going to discuss this book Sunday night, I decided Sunday afternoon to see if I could get a copy of it. Well, guess what? It was on Kindle Unlimited. So I downloaded it on Kindle Unlimited and at the bottom of my Kindle device, it said add audio, audiobook narration, audible narration. So I went for it, $7.49. Grabbed it, listened to it, one sitting, kinda. What do you mean? What do I mean, one sitting, kinda? Well, I got, the book is in two parts, part one and part two. I listened to, I didn't know that I was approaching part two, but I listened to about half the book and I started to get groggy. I was sitting here in my recliner. I didn't even have a cup of coffee because it was midday. It had been an early day, a busy day for me. So I decided to lay down. Now, remember, I'm listening to this by audiobook narration. So I set my sleep timer for 15 minute increments in case I actually do fall asleep. I won't miss anything in the book and then I only have to go back 15 minutes when I wake up from this nap. So just as I'm about to segue into a deeper sleep, I realize something. Guess what? Forget the nap because I had drifted off to sleep as we were approaching part two. Now I haven't told you anything about the book. So let's talk about the book. We have our protagonist, her name is Millie, okay? Millie just did a 10 year stint in prison, living in her car with no options, but she gets a job as a housemaid hired by Nina Winchester. Right away, there are many negatives about this job. Nina is a snob. Nina is demanding. She's going to be living in a small attic room with a painted shut window. And there is a lock on the door, but the lock's on the outside. These are all things that she sees as soon as she gets to her first day at work. Now, as Millie starts her new job as housemaid, there is some very, very strange goings on. Most important going on is Nina is gaslighting Millie at every turn. Like for example, Millie will clean the house and go to bed and then get up in the morning and there's toothpaste all over the sink. There's dishes in the in the kitchen sink. There's uh, the floors are dirty. The house is filthy. And she's like, wait a minute. When I went to bed, it was clean. But she just does her job. And then Nina is there. I kind of feel like I can picture Nina with a white glove. You know, checking for dust. Okay, uh, you you're not doing that right. What kind of cleaner are you using? Or whatever. So now we have. Millie in a dead end job, but the, she has room and board for this job as a housemaid. So she's going to stick it through until she can save enough money to rent a flat and then she'll get another job. That's pretty much it, right? But remember, I was tired and I thought I was going to take a nap. Now, sorry for the camera shaking. What happens? Well, that was all part one. Part two. I don't know if I want to tell you what happens in part two. As a matter of fact, I probably will not tell you what happens in part two because I don't want to give you any spoilers. But let's just say that this book by Frida McFadden took a turn. Such a turn that, let me tell you, I don't have the tour review. 
I don't have to do this video. I don't have to put this on my blog or, or even write a review on Goodreads. So why am I making the video? Because part two blew my mind, okay? Now, there's another character in this book. Of course, I, I had mentioned the husband, right? I don't know if I mentioned Nina's husband. Pleasant guy, easy to get along with. Somebody that assured Millie that, you know, don't worry about Nina. Yeah, she's a little high strung, but you know, whatever. So, so she gets along with the husband and there was a little girl, I think she's like seven years old, a little precocious, demanding child, just as demanding as the mother, just as ornery and as rude as the mother. But there's another character and his name is Enzo. He is the gardener. So if you read it, if you read this book, The Housemaid, which I highly recommend, keep your eye out for Enzo. Now, that's all I'm going to tell you about this book because I don't want to do any spoilers, especially when we get to part two. But this is the kind of book that I'm going to tell you to pay attention because a segue from part one to part two is amazing. Okay, it is mind boggling. Now, this is a book that I can actually see as a television movie, as an ongoing book series, because we learned something about Millie. And this all goes back to why she was in prison for those 10 years. So how does all this come together? This housemaid that sees all, hears all, and still loses grip on what's happening to her. You're only gonna find out if you read the book. Now you can get this on Kindle Unlimited, just like I did with your Kindle Unlimited subscription. But if you can get it as an audio book, the way I did, I highly recommend it. Um, sorry for shaking the camera. I'm not sure if you can get this, I'm not gonna check. I'm not sure if you can get this from your library, but if not, remember Kindle Unlimited and you can do the tie-in for Audible for less than eight bucks. But there you have it. The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. Great, great book. We had a great discussion afterwards and I am now going to, at some point in my near future, binge read everything that Frieda McFadden has. Now I'm going to get early, an early look at her newest book whenever it comes out because the, the group that I'm in will offer the book for a blog tour. So guess what? Next time I see Frieda McFadden's name, I'm going to say, yes, I will do it. Count me in. So there you have it. The House Made by Freedom McFadden. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.